Without further ado, here is Kelsey. One day I was in the office with my boss, and we are like, well, what are you going to do about um, that employee who keeps showing up late, and what are you going to do? And I'm like, well, I don't know, but, you know, maybe we should have a meeting with them, and, <laughs> and he starts looking at me, he's like, what's wrong with you? He's like, I don't know, it must be in my jeans, I don't know how to control this. Especially, guys, I really look forward to this. Um, how many of you guys would describe yourselves as broke? Like, you feel broke right now. You know, um, broke is not a funny thing. It's really not a funny thing. Um, when I was in college, I would always know I was broke when I was, I decided to clean my apartment because when we cleaned the apartment, it meant we were looking through the couches for change so we could go out and drink beer. But during that time, I also developed this test. And by, by a round of applause, when I say this, tell me if you've ever done this before. And that'll tell me how much of a broke ass you are. <laughs> so if you have ever put two dollars of gas in your car, let's hear an applause. Just two dollars. <laughs> how about if you've ever really considered potted meat product a real meat? <laughs> what about you go out and eat and you go to a restaurant because your friend is a waiter there and you know you don't have to tip it? <laughs> What about when you're little, you know everybody had Kool-Aid. You go to make Kool-Aid and you realize you're missing some key ingredients like water and sugar <laughs> and the Kool-Aid. Um, how many of you have ever left the keys in your car because you wanted somebody to steal it? <laughs> you ever done that? What about, this is another one. How many of you, if you lost your Visa card or your MasterCard tonight, you wouldn't really care? In fact, you'd be like, I oh, sure hope they make payment. <laughs> um, but we grew up, you know, we were, we were broke when we were a lot younger. We, I should always used to say we were poor. I said, Mom, why are we poor? And she'd say, Kelsey, poor is a state of mind. We're just broke. And I'm like, well, can we move to another state? Because this state sucks. <laughs> You know, I, I joke around about my mom, but she actually taught me to appreciate people a lot. And uh, she taught me to really observe people. And I'm an observer. I'm, I've always been an observer. I like to watch people. Like when I came in tonight, I was like, wow, there's a lot of beautiful people in this room. So let's have a round of applause for the beautiful people. <laughs> but there's also some ugly people. <laughs> And, you know, I, I hate to say that, you know, when I was growing up, my mom always used to say, beauty is skin deep, Kelsey, and beauty will fade. And I'd be like, well, hell yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The ugly people get uglier. <laughs> that's not a joke. They get uglier. You know, in fact, Don Imus, you guys remember, Don Imus got fired for calling the women on the Rutgers basketball team nappy-headed hoes. You guys all remember this story, right? Well, he was wrong. He probably shouldn't have said that there were no holes on that team. But there were some nappy-headed women on that team. <laughs> and it's okay to notice that. Um, but, you know, one of the things my mom also taught me was, we, when we were younger, we moved out of, the, out of the, the poor side of town, we moved to the suburbs, and she taught me, you need to learn how to mix with different people. And you need to really appreciate working around different people. And, mixing with different people. So as I grew up, I always used to notice the differences in how different ethnic groups and cultures reacted to different things. So one of the first things that I noticed was how different people act when different people get drunk, right? So if you're a black guy and you get drunk, it's kind of something like this. This is my house. This is my house. You don't tell me what to do. This is my house. You! <laughs> My house! 
And then there is my white buddies that I went to college with. They have, I actually have a few stages of getting drunk. There's the, I'm drunk and I'm standing there and I kind of lose my balance and no one's touching me. Then there's the overly affectionate stage. Boom! You're awesome, yeah! I love you! Awesome! And the last stage is falling asleep on the street downtown. <laughs> You know, that's not the only thing I noticed. I also noticed that when 9-11 happened, lots of people got mad about having to take off their shoes and take off their belt, go through the scanner and put it all back on again. Actually, I, that kind of pisses me off too because I always get screaming. But people with dark skin really weren't concerned until they started not letting us take our lotion on the airplane. <laughs> We really got upset. And in fact, you do not want to sit next to a person with ashy elbows because you'll get cut. Um, but you definitely want to be able to take that, that lotion on the airplane. Um, how many people spent a lot of time with their grandparents growing up? That was me too. We used to go every summer. In fact, um, we have a family reunion coming up, so it always makes me think about my cousins and how much I really hate staying around them because they're all really a bunch of idiots. Um, in fact, when we were growing up, I was always the one that caught on that. My grandmother was, you know, she was a nice little old lady. That's who I get my height from, actually. Um, but she could do a lot of different things that, you know, most people don't do. In fact, one of the things she was really good at is she could kill a roach without even looking at it. Um, we'd be sitting there talking, she said, baby, how'd you do in school today? Did you get a, did you get a, a report card? Did you do that? So, she was kind of like the ninja around the family. Like, she could do stuff like that. And if she told you to stop, it meant stop. If she told you don't do it, it meant don't do it. So whenever something happened, I was always the one that stepped back and said, you know, that's not a good idea. In fact, one day me and my cousin were out, and uh, he tore his church pants, and I knew he was going to get in trouble. He knew he was going to get in trouble, but he came home in denial, and he says, well, man, what am I going to do? Uh, a book. I'll put a book in my pants. And so he goes over the shelf and grabs a book, and I'm like, Nelson, that's not a good idea. I don't think you should do that. Um, but he's like, you're just mad, dude. You're, you suck because you think, you're, you're just mad because you didn't come up with that idea. I'm like, okay, I'll let you do it. And so she comes in and she says, you know you're in trouble. You need to lean over this chair and go ahead and get ready. And so she goes and she pops him and his pants go, ooh. <laughs> he picked up one of my baby sister's talking books. So, um, that, you know, me, I wasn't, I actually learned at a very early age to, you know, act right. I actually, as a kid, had ADD, so my mom um, had me on Ritalin. So I know what ADD is and I know what that is. So I was at the store one day and uh, a lady's there with her kid. And this kid's tearing the place apart. I mean, he's throwing the, the tissue on the floor, he's kicking the cereal boxes, popping them open, and I'm looking at this lady like, what are you going to do? And she clearly was a fan of the Super Nanny because she sits him and says, I'm going to put you in time out. And I'm thinking, that's not going to work for this kid. And she, he, she says it a couple more times and then he finally looks up at her and says, what are you going to do, dumbass? And I'm like, holy crap, he's getting ready to get knocked out. And she says, what are we going to do with you? And I walk up and I, you know, I kind of give her the, what's up? <laughs> Aren't you going to do anything? She looks at me and says, it's okay. He has ADD. And I say, lady, that's not ADD. That's BAD. <laughs> and he needs to break out the BELT or that kid's going to be running all over the place. That's uh, all I have. And um, 